What is going on guys, Vlad here with AsolusPLC.com. If you enjoy videos on PLC programming, HMI development, or any other application development for industrial automation, consider hitting this subscribe button down below on your screen. And of course, the notification bell to receive the latest videos that I will be putting out on this channel. Without any further delay, let's get into today's video. All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at a question which came in from a student that I have on Udemy. And I believe it's a very, very important question. So we're going to to uh, first of all read the question and then I'm going to explain why uh, this essentially happens and it is something that you encounter at one point or another within your PLC career. So super, super important. Let's just get right into it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So this uh, person, which I'm not going to name in the video, but essentially he wrote to me, so far I am a tr in a training period to get up to speed and the only time I'm able to actually practice on Studio 5000 is through a data concentrator PLC. I have a copy of S7300 emulator software, but I'd like to take it further to improve my programming. I was thinking of getting a starter kit from Siemens. So those of you who don't know, a 7300 uh, is a Siemens-based uh, PLC software. And there's he's mentioning S7-1200, which is a newer kind of PLC from Siemens with HMI panel, CPU, software, etc., for for $1,000. In your professional experience, how valuable do you feel it would be for me to try and train on Siemens side as well? I'm looking to expand beyond just Rockwell products and make myself more marketable for the future. Now, this is something that I dealt with uh, myself and I still do. I still buy a lot of different hardware just because I want to explore, I want to learn new things. I think that I will uh, essentially be able to absorb and find time for these products. But here's the reality, guys. So first of all, when you learn a certain PLC platform, you shouldn't look at it as you've learned Alan Bradley or you've learned Siemens or you've learned Omron, whatever it might be. You have to think of it as you've learned a PLC programming language, which uh, is either ladder logic function blocks um, structured text or just a mix of the three or four different ones and you should be able to reapply that wherever you go you should be able to if you work with Alan Bradley you should be able to apply to jobs that use Siemens and be able to intelligently speak to uh, you know whoever's asking you questions that you can do a b c and d it will just take you a little bit of time to get up to speed with that particular platform so you should always think that your skills are always transferable from one PLC platform to another. There's no, uh, there's no very large uh, sort of stepping stone from one to another. Now, of course, there's going to be difference in the software, so there's going to be little kinks that you might not be used to. But like I said, it takes time, and I believe that it's always acceptable to learn that platform on the go if you are familiar with one platform. Now, the next thing that you need to consider when you're buying hardware is, although I recommend that you invest your money into some kind of hardware, the best place to practice is always going to be at work. So the reality of PLC programming is that you can't necessarily recreate the same environment that you would have in a large manufacturing plant in your house. So what ends up happening is people buy these expensive pieces of hardware and like he's talking about $1,000 PLC and of course you're going to create some screens, you're going to create some programs which are going to run on a loop and that's great and that's awesome practice and you'll be ready for an interview and you should be able to uh, talk as to the projects that you've made but until you find a real application for that specific PLC and HMI, it's going to be really difficult for you to uh, sort of put that in practice and get the real world scenarios that would present themselves at a workplace. So that's the other the other thing that you need to consider is how much are you really going to get out of this uh, PLC and HMI package. Now, the last thing is that uh, time time is extremely valuable. And as you get more and more into this, and as you can see, he's mentioning that the only time he's able to practice uh, Studio 5000 is through a data concentrator PLC. So that tells me that um, even though he's trying to jump into Siemens, which might have a good reason, uh, he's not necessarily focused on Studio 5000 as much as he could be uh, even at his workplace. So what I usually recommend to people who are just starting out or people who are looking to transition into a uh, more of a programmer, programmer role is to keep asking your bosses or your supervisors to give you more programming challenges and essentially use them as stepping stones to greater 
things. And instead of sort of transitioning and being all over, try and work on a certain platform because it takes a very, very long time to master. I myself refer to manuals all the time. I learn new things all the time. I post about different things all the time. I had this, um, as you guys know, I use this Compact Logix PLC to practice and I only have a few hours a week that I can actually spend, uh, you know, outside of work, of course, to get online with this and try some new things because those opportunities are not that easy easy to come by and to start to kind of divert yourself into many many different technologies is going to be uh, somewhat of a challenge because usually what happens is you're still not at a level I guess that you could be on Alan Bradley but now you're starting to put yourself in a position where you're just starting to learn Siemens so although like I said a lot of the, lo a lot of the logic stuff is going to be reapplicable you're going to start to learn the software and it's just the layout so you're going to have to relearn how to like lay out for example the ladder logic the function blocks so it's going to take you a little bit of time and now you're essentially spreading yourself way too thin when you could be learning something as for example networking concepts so networking I, I think is going to be really really big so all of the stratic switches I'm actually thinking of uh, making a little class uh, soon on that but essentially uh, you can be focusing on deeper concepts within a certain platform and expand on it now the last thing that I wanted to mention and this is um, kind of a more of a plus than a minus so you also I apologize about that you also need to look at what is the where is the market headed so uh, in terms of you know Alan Bradley versus Siemens I'm sure a lot of you are aware that Alan Bradley is the dominant force within the North American region and then Siemens is more popular in Europe. So depending on, of course, on where you're located, you might learn one or another. But like I said, first of all, you can reapply them. But that is something that you should be considering. If you're in North America, then based on my personal experience, it is going to be difficult if you purely focus on Siemens and you have a deeper understanding of Siemens than Alan Bradley. And um, of course, you do need to take that into consideration consideration of where you're going to look for work which companies you want to apply to so on and so forth so I do recommend that you do your own research before you start you know investing time and money into some of these platforms and last but not least something that I guess I didn't really mention is uh, there's a lot of new technologies that are coming out with PLCs there's a lot of really tempting stuff and uh, for sure it can get exciting and you do want to uh, kind of dive into it and I highly encourage you that you keep learning more and more things and it's not you know all of the comments that I've made in this video Video, that's not to say that you should be discouraged from learning them and if you absolutely feel that you know you need to learn Siemens and that's going to keep you motivated uh, from working with PLCs maybe uh, you know Alan Bradley is not something that you're extremely excited about so you want to try Siemens see uh, what kind of a an approach they take or you want to try even automation direct I have an automation direct PLC uh, in my house so that's definitely definitely a plus so don't always take it as you know you should always be fixated on one platform but I do recommend that maybe you think of you know different ways to learn the platform without investing that kind of money but again if the funds are there and if that's what you want to do then more power to you learning more is always better of course and um, if you have any questions if you have any questions Questions about software or the hardware make sure to post them in the comments forums or uh, whatever you're watching this I'll see you guys next time thank you guys so much for watching my content if you have any questions on this topic make sure to leave them in the comment section below and if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video if you've enjoyed it that would mean absolutely the world to me and if you have any suggestions for the channel what kind of hardware software I should be covering then make sure to leave that down there as well see you next time take care bye